So this is the Hyundai Alcazar. The word Alcazar is a Spanish word which means a fortress or a palace. And trust me, this is indeed built like a fortress with quality oozing all over it. The features are endless, the design is flawless and the performance especially of the 1.5 litre diesel would truly render you breathless. Now talking about the design, the front end looks grand and majestic with the chrome studded cascading grille reminiscent of the Hyundai Palisade. The trio beam LED headlamp cluster reminds us of the Creta. However, we do get some chrome bits here and there to distinguish this one. Even the fog lamps are LED and come neatly embedded in the front bumper. We also get strong bonnet lines to underscore its powerful persona. Now moving on to the profile, taking center stage here are the massive 18 inch diamond cut alloy wheels with flared wheel arches and body cladding all around. We also get a step board to accentuate its SUV stance. We then have the roof rails and a shark fin antenna. We also get puddle lamps to illuminate your pathway at night. At the back, we get a neatly laid out LED tail lamp cluster that reminds us of the Ford Endeavor. We get a twin port exhaust to add a sporty touch. Overall, the design is perfectly cohesive from all viewing angles and looks massive and striking like a proper SUV with all the right bits across the board. Moving inside, we get plush cognac brown interiors with leather stitching on the dash and leather upholstery for the seats. The driver's seat gets 8-way electric adjustment and mind you, we do get ventilated seats that cool you down even at the end of a very bad day. The steering is beautifully laid out and has a premium feel to it with all the controls mounted on it. Then we have the star of the show, the 10.25 inch full color speedo console with multiple themes which really adds on to your driving experience. It houses all the info that you come looking for including a compass and tire pressure monitoring. Then we have yet another star of the show, the 10.25 inch full color touchscreen infotainment system with a crystal clear display even when driving right underneath the sun. The system does come with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support and for all those audio files out there we get Bose audio with 8 speakers and a subwoofer and a central speaker so the sound is purely immersive. We also have 64 colors selection for ambient lighting to lift your mood at the end of a tiring day. Talking about other goodies on board, we get a huge panoramic sunroof that lets in a lot of light and makes the cabin feel more airy. We get automatic climate control but it isn't a dual zone AC but what's really impressive is we get dedicated AC vents for the second row as well as for the third row passengers with the fan control or the speed control for the third row passengers. In terms of utility, we get two wireless charging trays, one up front and one for the second row which is again very thoughtfully included. We get a cool glove box, we get bottle holders on all four doors that can hold 1 litre bottles. Boot space is 180 litres with all three rows up but fold down the third row and you have loads of space to carry your washing machine along with you. The second row seating offers good amount of knee room and headroom and the seats tumble down easily to make way for you to get into the third row. A room for the adults in the third row is almost best in segment with dedicated AC vents, charging ports and cup holders. 
Now talking about safety, the body structure is made up of advanced high strength steel. We get six airbags in total, which is outstanding. We do get ABS with EBD and we do get disc brakes all around. We also get electronic stability program and vehicle management system. We get front and rear parking sensors and we have a 360 degree camera system with crystal clear display on the main screen. Another standout feature though is the lane watch camera or the blind spot eliminator. So when you hit the right indicator, you have the right camera giving you a clear view of what's lurking behind. Similarly, when you hit the left indicator, the left camera turns on to give you a clear view of what's happening on the other side. Apart from this, we also get Hyundai's Blue Link app with 60 plus connected car features, including starting the car, stopping the car, AC on off function, SOS alert with auto crash notification, stolen vehicle tracking, vehicle immobilization, air purifier on and off system and seat ventilation on and off, OTA map updates and a whole lot more. Now talking about the engine options, we have the 2 litre naturally aspirated petrol engine that puts out 159 PS of max power and 191 newton meters of max torque. We get two transmission options, the 6 speed manual and a 6 speed auto. And the car that I am featuring today is a 1.5 litre diesel that puts out 115 PS of max power and 250 newton meters of max torque. Again, we get a six-speed auto and a six-speed manual as transmission options. So now that I've given you guys a quick overview of the car, let's go ahead and take a look at my drive reaction. So guys, now that I've given you a quick overview about the sensational Hyundai Alcazar, let us take this grand SUV out for a short spin and uh, see what kind of a driving experience this 1.5 litre diesel variant has on offer. This is the signature edition. Now every once in a while there comes a car that not only sets a new benchmark but actually becomes a benchmark in the segment right from its very inception. And the Alcazar is that car is what I feel. It oozes luxury and value all over it look at this beautiful beautiful animation as soon as you step in then of course uh, this is the startup animation hi never wait for a perfect moment just take a moment and make it perfect good morning whoa <laughs> that was a good quote <laughs> and uh, let's wow look at the animation maybe this is for the seat belt but uh, the display animation is absolutely out of this world all you need to do is get into the setup mode get into vehicle and get into cluster and here you have different themes this is the standard theme I hope you can see it properly then this is my personal favorite very sporty futuristic and this also looks pretty noble and classy and this one again looks a lot more futuristic for now let's put it into this red color so 1.5 liter crdi uh, four cylinder diesel engine that puts out 115 ps of max power and 250 newton meters of uh, max torque six speed torque converter gearbox so let's just buckle up and uh, you get ventilated seats as well I mean loaded with features beyond imagination so let's fire her up and I'm a huge fan of the diesel engine CRDI uh, U2 diesel engines from uh, the house of Hyundai because they are the most refined most responsive <coughs> and most frugal of the lot in our market currently so it's in the drive mode for now let's switch to sport mode because that's where the true uh, action and the fun and the joy is so let's get going wow the feeling is absolutely amazing the chassis stability and the feel and you hold the steering you get that premium premium feel to it it's a large SUV it's actually taller and longer than the Creta the width almost remains the same suspension is brilliant i could oh floor the pedal baby <laughs> i get a feeling of that movie back to the future 
Wow. Whoa. This is absolutely breathtaking performance. It's very stable even while doing triple digit speeds. Absolutely float the pedal here. Rock solid stability. Yeah, the speed uh, alarm is going nuts now, but it's just for the high speed stability test. Feels rock solid. The steering weighs, weighs up and gives you great confidence. Superb straight line stability. Superb suspension setup. And it's just phenomenal. And just for the records, the word Alcazar is a Spanish word that means a fortress or a palace so it is indeed built like a fortress i mean it's so uh i mean uh, rock solid even while doing uh high speed runs and uh, the straight line stability is phenomenal the steering feel is amazing you do have the paddle shifters here and it is a bundle of joy for sure and it is a force to reckon with is what i feel you can immediately feel uh, that this is a runaway success, an absolute blockbuster launch from Hyundai. So for now, let's just uh, quickly turn around. You can see the lane watch camera, so brilliant. I mean, so well thought out. Everything is just beyond imagination on this car. I mean, the SUV is just phenomenal in every which way three sixty degree camera for you dynamic guidelines the top aerial view you can also change the view as per your personal preference it's just unbelievably good in every which way that you could think of Another good thing is here you have a lot of buttons. First you have the electronic parking brake, then you have the auto hold function, you have the ventilated seats right here and here you have the view button. So as soon as you press the view button, this entire 360 degree camera, you have frontal view and you have the top view and you can change this as per your personal preference and that's that's what makes this such an absolute joy and if you want to turn off the display just press the button you're back to the main standard home home screen okay now we are in the sport mode and the manual mode i guess so is, let's try and see how far it holds the gear it's shifting pretty quickly but uh yeah the paddle shifters are also working fine let me just see if the paddle shifters make any difference. No, it is shifting on its own. Yeah, around 4500 RPM is where uh, it is shifting on its own. Because, say for instance, I want to rev it all the way up to 5500 or 6000 RPM. Yeah, so it is shifting on its own at 4000 rpm maybe to keep things uh, safer and uh, more well balanced but uh, yes i would have preferred it to give the driver the full control uh, in terms of shifting up or shifting down but the gear shifts are absolutely butter smooth trust me uh, the paddle shifters or even the gearbox uh, it works absolutely flawlessly and super smooth shifts here uh, despite being a torque converter so that's that's full marks for hyundai for offering such a smooth uh, driving experience okay guys so i've changed the display this is kind of a futuristic looking display looks pretty cool so one of the themes and we are still in the sport mode now so let's cut through some corners they have put some uh, laid a new road here so it's even more uh, desirable gotta be a little careful pushing it to the limits and uh, there you go the brakes are brilliant steering feel is amazing and uh, the steering sensitivity is pretty much on point off 
as we go. Step on the gas. Amazing driving experience. Great power delivery. Oodles of torque. 250 Newton meters. And uh, yeah, cornering stability is amazing as well. There's very minimal body roll. For the driver, you don't feel anything. Maybe for the passengers in the second row, you might feel something. But it's really, really amazing and uh, impressive for a SUV. Because usually the boxy SUVs body roll is kind of unavoidable. But the way they have, you know, tuned the chassis and the suspension is phenomenal. Wow. Steering is nice and direct. It kind of goes where you want it to. Beautiful, beautiful feel and feedback. The suspension is brilliantly tuned. The chassis is perfectly orientated and the brakes are absolutely amazing. And of course, the engine puts a smile on your face each time you step on the gas. So that is the new Alcazar for you. It's brilliant, it's perfect, it's phenomenal in every which way you can think of. And uh, that's what we expect each time Hyundai launch a new product. It is sheer value written all over it. And I give it a big thumbs up from my side. So what do you guys think about the new Alcazar? Do you think it's a new benchmark in this segment? Uh, feel free to comment below and let me know. And of course, if you like what you see and want to see more, uh, please do hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more action right here at Dino's Vault.